Have you noticed that fresh cut flowers don't seem to stay fresh for very long? So can chemistry help us to prolong the life of flowers? Cut flowers begin to wilt almost instantly. Air and bacteria can block the small pores of the vascular system of plants, stopping vital water and food from being distributed around the flower. Certain metals are noted for their ability to reduce bacterial growth. Even two and a half thousand years ago, people had noticed that vessels made from copper and silver kept food and drink fresh for longer. Fast forward a couple of thousand years and you can buy plasters to apparently help your cuts heal faster. Pajamas are rumoured to stop you from contracting bacterial infections and socks alleged to help those afflicted with smelly feet, all impregnated with antimicrobial metals. Metals such as copper, silver and gold are toxic to bacteria because the metal binds to enzymes responsible for respiration, deactivating them and killing the bacteria. Let's see if we can slow the rate of bacteria forming in the water by adding antimicrobial metals to help our flowers last longer. Find yourself a copper coin and clean it using toothpaste to remove any unwanted dirt and bacteria and leave the toothpaste on the coin while you do this next bit. Take your flowers and cut them at a 45 degree angle to maximise the water uptake. Put them in two identical vases, glasses or jam jars, each with an inch of water. Over the course of the experiment, try and keep this water level constant. Next, rinse the toothpaste off your copper coin and drop it in one of the jars. Your other jar will be your control. Is there any difference in their appearance over time? Record which vase of flowers looks fresher over one, three, five, seven and ten days, or whether they both look the same. So, did it work? We'd like you to tell us. You can do so via this simple online survey here. By taking part, your results will help determine whether adding a copper coin to prolong the life of fresh cut flowers is a hit or a myth. Check out the website to see the results and look out for our next citizen science project coming soon.